This is the pre-calculus spring 2015 ACP study guide problem 21 which is a vector problem using forces. Uh, two forces are acting on an object as represented by the two vectors shown below. What is the net force acting upon the object? So if we have these two vectors in direction and magnitude form, if we can convert these two vectors into component form, we'll be able to add them together and thus uh, get our net force. And so let's go ahead and set about doing that. Let's first take this one on the top, this 35 Newton force. And to do that, to break this into component form, we know, we have to know that cosine equals x and sine equals y. So the first thing we're going to do is take our magnitude of this one on top, which is 35, cosine of 25 degrees, and comma, we have 35 sine of 25 degrees. Now we're going to go, I'm going to put in purple here below our component form of this vector below, and that's going to be 45, which is our magnitude, cosine, and what is our angle? Well, our angle, we can either continue in standard form all the way around, so that would be 340 degrees, or we can just put cosine of negative 20 degrees. We have to remember that we're going downward from our x-axis, and so our angle has to be negative, or if not negative, we'd have to put it in standard form in terms of three of rotation from uh, counterclockwise from our standard position to the right, which would be 340 degrees. The cosine of negative 20 degrees is the same as cosine of negative 340 degrees. And then comma, 45 sine of negative 20 degrees. And that's going to be our, our form. And then we can add these two together and put them in one place. And to do that, I'm going to add them in red and, and leave a lot of room here on the left. So we're going to have 35 cosine of 25 degrees plus 45 cosine of negative 20 degrees, comma, we'll have 35 sine of 25 degrees, and we'll have plus 45 sine of negative 20 degrees. Okay, there we have it. So we go to our calculator and we'll put in um, 30, it's going to be hard, 35 cosine cosine uh, 25 degrees plus uh, 45 cosine negative 20 degrees and that's going to be our x component and our y component is going to be 35 sine 25 degrees plus 45 sine negative 20 degrees and we get a very small amount about negative point 
six. And so to find our magnitude, it, we're going to go ahead and take control square root. We're going to take 74.01 roughly. And if we understand what this thing, the magnitude of this function, we could stop right there, but we're going to put in negative about 0.6 squared. So we're going to get essentially 74.01 newtons. So we go back to our problem and 74.01 newtons and that gives us our correct answer is B. Good luck. Again try the adjacent even over problem 22 to gain some additional practice. Good luck and thank you for viewing.